I moved out of LA. And I know this video is long overdue, like six months overdue. And for that, I just wanna apologize because it was never my intention to leave you guys hanging this long without a video. But honestly, if you know anything about moving, it can be one of the most stressful and somewhat traumatizing experiences of life. I've tried to edit this video so many times over the course of these few months. And every time I did, I could never find the right words to summarize how I felt. And I felt weird being back at home, but it felt nice to be back at home and for a lot of reasons Los Angeles has been such a special and important city for me for my growth and development as an adult I moved out for the first time on my own with my sister I gained a lot of independence I went to my dream school so many amazing things happened to me in that city and I wanted this video to be as authentic and I wanted to be in a better headspace and now that I am I feel like I can finally share with you guys this beautiful but yet messy and imperfect perfect experience of my move because hey, life isn't perfect and that's okay. And that's what I really wanted to share with this video. So this is basically my love letter to LA and I hope you guys enjoy. So let's get started. I have such bad gas. <laughs> She's digging in her booty over there. <laughs> Bye. I love you. I love you so much. Ashley, we're genuine. Oh, bye. Oh bye. my God. Bye. Okay, and we are all. It's just you and I now. Picnic with my best friends. We start to plan what we will do. It's the next day and Ashley and I are going to run a few errands, some things that we need to get done. We need to go to Target and get some soap. And I wanted to get some hair products to do my hair because I did my hair before I left and I just didn't like it. So I'm going to try to do my hair again. We're not going to start the moving stuff right now because we don't want to be overwhelmed. Um, we are not leaving until uh, July and today is uh Today is June 15th, so we have some time, but I just wanted to update you guys because we've been here. We haven't been doing anything, we've just been relaxing, uh, but yeah. I got a few things. I got Gillette um, razor because I need to shave my legs. They're very hairy. Um, I got a loofah. Um, this Pantene, oh no, olive oil uh, wrap set mousse. I love using this um, when I do my perma test because I need to do my hair soon because I want to shoot content. And then I also got this Pantene mousse um, as well because 
I've been trying to experiment with my hair to see what will not make it be flaky or crunchy. Um, I don't know, we'll see if this works out, but um, that's all that I got. Hi you guys, so we're going on a week of being here and I feel like I have not really done a lot with the moving process. I've been just kind of relaxing. I don't want to get too overwhelmed, you know what I mean? Uh, but today is the day that I tackle some things that I need to tackle in regards to my room, in regards to this junk that has um, become of me. And I feel like if your room is that junky, you're not living life. But you know, I do need to get my life together and you do need to get my stuff in order. And that's order because we leave in about two weeks. So I do need to get some stuff moving and going. I have packed my shoes, um, but in regards to anything else, haven't packed anything. Let's do that together. Um, I feel like it's gonna be pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna try to send off some stuff today, me and Ashley, Ashley and I. We're gonna try to send off like at least two boxes. Uh, like every couple of days. We're not gonna do the traditional moving route uh, because our stuff is not worth that much, like our furniture wise. And I just feel like some of the stuff we can put in storage or sell. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's start cleaning up my room. As you can see, it's very junky. It's, it's, a, it's a chaotic mess. So let's try to make some sense of this um, and get something done for the moving process. Okay, so let's, um, let's go to quickly explain my logic in packing i literally wanted to keep all of my clothing which honestly came to my detriment when shipping off to fedex which you will see but i am just basically folding everything up i'm putting things in certain sections and orders i know that it looks really junky at this point but i promise this will make sense very soon okay so this is where we're at right now with the moving process i feel like I'm getting shit done, honestly. We have four boxes in total. Some of them I think I'm gonna put in my sister's car when we ship it. Um, and then we have this stuff right here. This stuff I'm gonna put in my suitcase when we leave. But this stuff right here is going to be, um, I'm gonna pack this up today. Um, it's just like pants uh, and some jackets and like winter wear. Um, and then I have some winter wear in here, right in these boxes, so. day we're going to send out a lot of our clothes from our closet and we are trying to figure everything out but we are working with a little bit of limited storage because we're using Ashley's car Ashley's car is a Fiat if you may or may not know that and the car's really small limited space so we're trying to figure out how many times we need to go to the FedEx store to ship out the stuff because right now we can only send out three things at a time based um, on the car yes and then we have Brady's thing we need to this was not able to fit the car I have these two other boxes do not mind the mess <laughs> um, I have two boxes I need to send yes that are from the rest of my room so like these were in the my mental budget of like four boxes I really hope it's not expensive two of these boxes we have three <laughs> okay three and then you have 
This what? one right here. So and you know what is so funny, y'all? We thought we were gonna be able to put, put these, these in her car. car. They shit my car. And it's like, but we could barely get the three in there. Let's go to FedEx. Oh, yeah. Going nowhere lately It's time to start all over And go for it Cause they don't even They don't even Okay, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay Hey, how do oh we got mental breakdown almost happened Literally, again. Ashley Okay, you guys, so yes. We did it Our total For what? three boxes For three, If you were ever trying to ship with FedEx Without 287 movers, Which is because of the boxes that we use um, they're kind of like storage boxes, like you know where you put papers in, like you know how they have the handles on the side. It's not the ones with the lid, but it's like ones without it, and it's like it's like newer boxes. So they needed to fill them up so that like it won't get dented. So that was like additional cost. But it was five dollars one time. The next the next trip is a, well, it's three boxes because of my car, and then we have one more box, right? So that four box, if it's three boxes, it's probably gonna be another 287, if not a little bit more, I think, for taxes or just because of the weight variation. Then we have our next step, which is a storage unit. Um, and then Brainy, I guess, will give her update about her life soon so you can explain why we need a storage unit because it's just yeah. becoming a lot. So we should oh be God. good. Um, and also, um, uh, girl, anybody worry about this? Uh, also, um, what I was gonna say was that at least we have the money to be able to very get blessed. this. Thankful. We're very blessed and grateful to be able to do this because, you know, like we could have nothing. I know the pandemic, we've been in a panic. We're going to do second round, round two of shipping stuff out. Oh, 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 so scary. Okay, yeah. All right, we'll see you guys at the house. Okay, you guys, round number two of shipping this stuff off is loading. So, whew, we did it. We're getting it done. We're getting it done. Two hours later. Woo, we got it all in! Yes! One more box, which mm -hmm. is mine for tomorrow. I'm very tired. We cannot go any, any more forward. But majority so, of our clothes are now shipped. It'll be there on the 30th. Um, we have all of our tracking information. It feels nice to... um have our stuff shipped it feels yeah. like we're actually gonna be moving now um we're gonna go celebrate because we put in a lot of work just now moving is a lot our especially total? when you're women oh but our 600? total of 647 compared to us getting movers, movers it was gonna be 3800 plus shipping our car which we already saw that majority of our like living room and dining room furniture yeah. is going to go to the storage unit and then we're going to ship our uh, like mugs and stuff to our uh, mom's house because we really like our mugs. Those are like everything to us So yeah. we're gonna be doing that um, But that's really pretty much it and then everything yeah. else is like kind of falling into place. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go get something to eat. We don't really know yet, but I just want to update you guys. Yeah, we'll figure it out so on this day of moving, Ashley was a sweetheart and decided to package all of our mugs because like I said in previous clips, they mean a lot to us and we really wanted to have this when we moved back to Atlanta. But on this particular day, we're just packaging up plates, our Keurig, uh, various items that we don't necessarily want to sell, but we do want to send off back to Atlanta. Uh, during this time, we were in the process of selling a lot of our things on Facebook Marketplace, which I didn't really get to document because that was our first time doing it and we were just in the process of moving uh, but here are a few clips of uh, some of the items we sold we sold our dining chair um, our couch our kitchen table for a decent price uh, that we were able to use uh, for some of our moving so that was pretty nice
All right, besties. So at this point of our moving journey, we have been packaging and sending stuff out to FedEx back and forth for the past two to three weeks now. And we finally got a public storage unit for a decent price for the sizing. The monthly payments were a bit expensive, um, but we are splitting it between me, my sister and my mom. But me and Ashley basically are putting all of our ornaments, Christmas decor, random miscellaneous items um, in the storage unit, which can I just add, moving is so much harder when you don't have a man around and god please send me my man i don't know when he's coming but this would have been so much easier if i had somebody to lift these boxes for me it's okay we girl bossed it out um and this public storage unit was so confusing to navigate the elevator we didn't know how to get inside and get out and literally we were so scared like it was too much going on but we eventually figured it out and we got everything inside of our storage unit um Ashley and I and um it was pretty relieving and exciting to say the least to get these boxes off of our hands because we had absolutely no idea what we were gonna do with them. So that's basically what me and Ashley are doing. Also, my mom did fly in to help us do the final clean out of the apartment. And here are the final clips of our rooms. I never got a chance to do a full house tour or apartment tour because honestly, we never got a chance to fully furnish everything because like we couldn't afford it. We were in a pandemic. Like we could only really focus on paying our rent, which is totally fine. But I'm hopeful in the future, I will be giving you guys a house tour, an apartment tour very soon. But this is just me showing you guys the final empty apartment and space. And I was honestly really happy to get out of here at this point because it was so chaotic these last few days. And this is just me Bye. closing the door. My apartment to 12. That was Amanda. <laughs> to 12. <laughs> what, to 12? <laughs> I mean, what, 12? I'm sorry. <laughs> and finally we were able to put everything in the storage unit i know it looks crazy packed but this is everything that we couldn't sell and we just had to put it somewhere and the storage unit was a great place for us to do so but thankfully this was our final day of moving we got all the boxes out of the apartment we returned our keys and we were on our way the only thing we had to do was ship our car out which was pretty simple but this was it this was our last moment in la Okay. So Yay, we did it. We out of the lake. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Here's just a final clip of our car loading onto the shipping truck to be sent back to Atlanta. And now we are officially done with our moving LA diaries. So let's get into my life update on why I may not be all the way done with LA. There's a lot of unpacking to do here. So let's chat. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. So we made it to the life update portion of today's video. I want to keep this sweet, short, to the point and not go on a tangent like I always do. Basically, the main reason why I think that I may move back or why I'm not officially done with LA is because I am pursuing my bachelor's degree. If you don't know this, I moved to LA uh, to go to FITM, my dream school, and I lived there for about two years with my sister. And after completing my associates, everything was simultaneously leading to me to leave because my job wasn't working out there, my sister's job wasn't working out there, financially it wasn't working out to be there and it was causing a lot of downward spirals and just depression and just a lot of dark things that I really don't want to get into to today's video but moving home has really been comfortable to me and it's been really great for my healing but I do feel complacency I know it's because I live at home I've been trying my best I feel like I've been trying my best to do content to just put on a brave face with this channel and it's been really hard and since the last time I filmed, I have gotten an internship with the cosmetics brand that's based in New York, which has been amazing. And I've been doing that remotely. So it's definitely helped with like some feelings that I've been feeling like of stuck almost. This is basically the ending of this particular chapter of Los Angeles. I may move back and if God is leading me to go back to LA, then I'll go back because that's what he wants me to do. Um, yeah, I hope this doesn't sound like a tangent, but thank you for watching to this point of the video. I really do appreciate it. It's taken me so long to edit this feel confident enough to like upload this because I feel like to a certain extent I'm a very like perfectionist like I like things to be like a specific way and if I don't 
feel right about something, if I don't feel confident in like whatever I'm producing, I do not like to share it with people. As much as I like to make videos for like people to watch, like this video in particular, I feel like is for me and my healing with this particular chapter of LA. Um, so that I can just close it for now, revisit it when I need to, but I just need it to be closed so that I can move forward and grow and become an adult and my own person and things like that. I, again, I hope this video was able to help maybe inspire people who may not know what they're doing with their life either. Yeah, that's basically the ending of today's video. Again, thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.